Hello guys, I'm Daily Fix. Welcome to X4 Reemergence. Uh, we left off the last time with my ship exploding, which definitely was a setback. Uh, I had to do some uh, some other stuff because I didn't save enough. Uh, but anyways, the good thing is we're making nine million uh, power with the trading station with everything that we have. Let's pause for a second. Is that all we can do? Well, no, uh, definitely not. There's like 5 million in the bank over here, which is way too much. Uh, but we are, we have the solar power plant that is still having 128,000 energy cells. We have superfluid cool that's currently having 9,000 sitting there doing nothing. The quantum tubes has started to activate. And I say started because I had some issues with superfluid coolant where it wasn't delivering. Uh, it currently is, definitely is uh, delivering, uh, but it, it's uh, it's being pushed out extremely fast. So we might actually have to increase that. Uh, or refinery, uh, we have 44,000 refined metals sitting over here. Uh, for the hull parts, we have 20,000 hull parts sitting over there. We have 48,000, and I, yeah, well, if I'm making a list, I might as well just continue it. We have a silicon refinery. Construction has been done yet. Uh, we do need energy and uh, labor union contracts, uh, which brings me to the following. The energy is not a huge problem, but this, this, this bad boy uh, is definitely taking a lot of union contracts into its uh, in its hole, uh, and then it will push out five times this amount times two. So that's just say if we double that up, that would be a uh, four half. Uh, let's say five twenty five negative uh, two fifty about twenty thousand silicon wafers per hour. If it starts working. Uh, and, and so far, the silicon has, uh, is being brought in because it has its own miners, which is great. Let's on pause now. Um, I'm starting to feel... I'm starting to feel that um, my energy ships are a bit busy currently. And I'm not seeing... Like they're going all over the place. They're, they're selling. They're, they're doing what they do best, right? Uh, and that's uh, selling. Selling the stuff. I'm starting to feel that we might need to get a ship that is on a energy distribution line going through all of these territories, distributing energy cells to my stations, with the end stop being the trading station where it drops the energy cells. Because I'm starting to feel that these guys might not be um, having my interest at heart. Uh, let's take a quick look again over here, see if it changes. No, but it definitely is pushing out the silicon. I didn't set a price, so it technically should have enough. It says that there's not enough storage space. There, there is enough storage space. There is more than enough storage space. I might just give it five to 10 minutes just to see if it does because it actually just finished construction so and once that is done once we have the silicon wafers the the next stop uh, and we're actually going to be doing that right now let's just let's keep a million in here because of the uh the bonds we need to go to the microchips. Uh, where's where's microchips and microchips is over there so what does it need? Well, silicon wafers and energy cells. Uh, we'll get the advanced schematics. Uh, one of the, th th this I need to buy in as well. And we are distributing that from the trade station. I also would like to have the mining ships eventually go through the, uh, the trading station. But, you know, that, that stuff for later. This, then, we need for electronics, advanced electronics, weapon components, advanced converters, of uh, antimatter converters, and drone components. For us, the most important thing would be 
these three, with this movie being the most expensive, we're going for the turret and the advanced electronics because we decided... Well, actually, I always say we. There is no we. That's basically me. I decided that I don't want the Argon Federation uh, to fall. And it. I feel like it will. I feel like it will definitely fall. Uh, this has been saved. Uh, yeah. What do you do? Yeah, these Silicon Wafer boys are not doing anything. That's because we don't have it. What's the plan for today? Well, first of all, we're going to be buying the... I don't hear my music, which is odd. Oh, there's my music. There we go. Uh, modules, production. Did I get myself the microchips? I have them Good right out there. now. Now, we're going back to the Venti. And I would like to find, and I know you might not like it, but I would like to find the Terrans. And I think the, looking at the map, there is the split and potentially the Boron over here. And am I... Preferences are the split first. Um, there is a gate that's not going anywhere from over there. So, yeah, we're going there right now. Um, not going to be... Uh, oops. Jump to my ship. Venti. Get out of my sh Get out of my seat. Cool, uh, cool jacket, though. Way to go, dude. Uh, let's unlock. So, I'll be autopiloting over there. I'm going to be eyeballing the... Um, the silicon refinery every now and then see if energy cells and union contracts come in because I'm having Auto a pilot. bad and feeling again and I might need to restrict uh, energy cells if I haven't done that already actually there's none actually no there's a lot I was selling for 15 yeah, I think I'm actually going to restrict this. Yeah. It's not going to be making me that much money. Um, what's the trade in that? Let's see. Trade amount offers. Get rid of these and get energy cells in that over the last day. Sell offer is high. The buy offer is actually increasing. We... Could technically also add more ships to this line. We have four ships already. They're all doing their thing. How many uh, docking stations do I have on this for media? Uh, more than plenty. More than plenty. Mm, we could use the silicon wafer dude to um, both start. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, let's pause for a second. Um, let me change this to... Energy... Cells. And then it is the Roman numeral for 5. Energy. And turn that off. And you... We have to remember that I actually did that. Otherwise, uh, they are going to be... Having issues... Turn that off, turn you off, and you are going to be an energy cells, and then six. Yeah, four, five, six, and seven is actually going to be putting down there because, well, they, they just go. But these are eyes. Uh, and, and yeah, the eye goes before the V. Yeah, okay, let's unpause that. All of them are busy. I hope. That shot really didn't do much. Yeah, look at this. Requesting immediate backup. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I get that you're having issues, mate. <laughs> I'm not going to be assisting you with that. Sorry. Uh, I'm not ready for that. Look at, man. If I was in the scrap business, ho, ho, I would be having a wonderful, wonderful time. Danger. Yeah, this is danger. Uh, we, yeah, this is, this is not where I want to be. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to be over here. Uh, damn, Zinan Station. Wait, 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 there's another gate. Uh, we, we could, uh, we could check it out. Uh, but this, uh, I, I don't, I don't feel happy about that. 
Uh, let's take a look uh, outside of the ship. What do we see? Can I zoom in? No, I cannot. We are flying towards a, uh, a gate. Wait, this could... It could lead to the... Um, to Patriarch territory. It is very possible that um, that is actually going on. The Car Carcass Cascade, I believe that was the detected. system that would be above Napoleon's fortune. Se. Uh, there is a defensive station at the gate there. Huh? Oh no. Worst. Yeah, worst possible I I time. Go. I'm pretty sure those star yeah, who cares? Go. Gate maps. This is the way to the old Federation. Oh no. 12 kilometers, 13 kilometers. Man, you're giving me a. Uh, I'm happy I'm here, you know, don't get me wrong. The family crit, but do you not give me... Oh, no. Well, family crit has fallen, my friends. Solar power plant. Still xenon. Alright, let's go outside the ship again. There is a gate to my left. Okay, let's pause for a second. Oh, that's, that's my new map key, which I completely forgot about. There's two gates. One to the right. One to the front. Uh, I'll take them both. I want to see how badly the Xenon has hurt. The split. Now, why would I want to find the split? Now, for those of you who have been with my channel for a while, I usually love split ships because they are very simple-minded. <laughs> they go in... And they might not get out, but they will sure as hell hurt you a lot. Um, how do these ships actually look? Yeah, they still look cool. I like that. Okay, let's let's go. Where Jump does this lead? Unknown sector. Don't lie to me, guy. You know where it goes. Entering okay, the family system. Jin. Family still Vin. alive. A lot of Xenon over here. Alright, let's do a long range scan and we'll cheese our way through it. There is a carrier. One station. Repair dock. Let's go. What's that? No. Yeah, uh, if they don't get it out of the game, I'll abuse it. So, trading station. Autopilot. Disengaged. Yeah, I'm not going to be flying with the autopilot through an asteroid field. Uh, let's also take a quick peek. Yeah, this is a problem, guys. This is a problem. This is a problem. Also, the union labor contracts are not doing a damn thing. How many ships do I have on that? We need more ships. Because this is a one, two... Three jumps and it's just not being supplied, which is problematic. Uh, definitely need. I'm going to do one or two. No, I'm thinking one should be enough. Uh, the energy cell and this this is what I hate. I despise this, where they are just going to bring energy cells to. Okay, how expensive is the energy cells over here? Well, that explains a. Absolute gigantic amount. Because that is not a bad price, 24. Uh, keep in mind that we are currently buying. It says for nothing. Maybe we should just help it a bit. No. We need more ships. One more. Yeah, one more uh, labor union contract. Eventually, this should trigger. Uh, let's quickly buy that one. I know the Argon is having a tough time, and I'm still using uh, their ships. I'm aware of that. But yeah, they will just have to suffer for it. Uh, Flares. Service. Okay, one more ship. I do want to start hoarding my money a tiny tiny bit 
uh, because I would really like to buy myself a medium ship. And since I am actually now in split territory, if I can find the, uh, the wharf or the shipyard, I can actually show the ships they have. Uh, and we'll just see. I would not mind owning all ships. Unfortunately for me, I am unable to dock with um, with them because I'm yeah they're negative fifteen. I could drop out here for a second, see if there is any hostile criminal traffic going on. So far, nothing, and I do need to be very careful not to hit anything. Well, there's nothing over here. Uh, let's head towards the next station. Split the fence. Uh, we can do a long range scan real quick. And yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys when I actually find uh, the shipyard or the wolf. I said I was going back when I was ready, but uh, at least the Xenon are trying their at most best. Dealing with this. Is there anything on that that would be able to harm me? We could actually... Um, we could assist. We could very well assist. Right, let's go. Because there's no defensive weapons on this. And we just have to... Shoot a few times. The Xenon already hate me. They will never like you. And if this would help. And it will not do a lot. I'm not here because I want to do additional damage. I'm just here to hoard a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of reputation. Now, I do have to be extremely careful with the, um, the shotgun type weapon. Because there is, as you can see over there. Uh, there are small ships and you have a bounce off as you can see uh, and that bounce off can be very very problematic okay there she goes come on don't be so anticlimactic ah, they're gonna be anticlimactic hopefully we'll get uh, a tiny bit of reputation for that because uh, we did assist Ish. Ah, we'll just see if that's going to be working like that. Um, Autopilot engaged. I am worried because of this that there might be another Xenon system over here. Autopilot disengaged. So I definitely don't want to be on the autopilot. And I do just want to check out where we are heading. Uh, if I was uh, to find Xenon ships that are engaging others. And yeah, Entering this system. Rise defiant. Ryan's defiant. That is definitely a Xenon system. Um, of course it is. Of course it is. Uh, it seems that... Uh, actually, I say that. It could very well be. This used to be a, uh, a split system. Autopilot Let's uh, engaged. flip around. There's nothing on my scanner, so I do feel confident enough to uh, just get my bearings to that. Autopilot disengage. Uh, we'll just head to the other system. I, I have a bad feeling about this. I think this the split's gone. <laughs> I think the split is gone, guys. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, wow. Uh, ooh, uh, was able to find at least the wolf. Uh, also, I... I gave the order to some of the ships to do a, a manual drop of resources to the silicon refinery in the hope that it would trigger. Uh, the same actually I had to do with the uh, the helium refinery over here. Uh, and you can see that it's just not being supplied. There's only an option. The, the only option that I think is um, is the right one is to uh, restrict this to private 
and then the pricing you know we can just, just I, I we can keep it at 15 we can drop it uh it, it doesn't matter uh, i'm doing the same thing over here like uh, automatic pricing automatic pricing doesn't matter we just buy in at the lowest amount possible this just isn't isn't working uh as i was hoping it would do huh the same goes with the schematics uh we're, we're, we're here we're, and we're talking about um one two three jumps three jumps do that it's not doing it it's absolutely annoying. Uh, so yeah, that, that definitely really changes um, what I was hoping for this entire episode to be. But, but we're going to be checking out... Where the hell am I? Uh, the ships. Uh, there's a gate over there. And in Patriarch's conclusion... Now, I, I'm pretty safe to say the conclusion for this split is they are boned. Absolutely... Entering annihilate it I don't think they will be able to recover I'm sure there is there is an object over here there's definitely a few more gates I'm hoping to find the um, uh, the shipyards uh, so we can check out the large ship for now let's uh, let's pause let's go do absolutely nothing because I am unable to actually take a look at the split ships uh, can I just check that from over here? Small. Yeah, I would have to start guessing. I uh, wish I could select. Uh, does the encyclopedia Encl Encl say anything? Faction. Patriarch. Not really. Uh, I have to go and look into those things. Ah, oh, man. That means that I need to actually increase my rating before I can show you uh, what's going on. That will change a lot. So, I'll, I'll start helping to stations. See if I can get that negative 15 out of the window. There are of scores. Uh, we cannot... How, how do I talk to someone if I cannot undock or cannot dock? I would love to assist, guys. Come on. Yeah, I'm uh, definitely being a pain in my ass right now. This station bugs the hell out of me right now. I actually gave it money. I, I know it doesn't need it. And I am just going to be taking everything away. They, they should just learn to uh, do my bidding. Autopilot Anyways, uh, yeah, I'll be hunting some criminal traffic over here. Uh, hopefully I'll find some. Hopefully I can get to negative 9, uh, which would then make it possible for us to dock up. But that's going to be uh, it's going to be quite a boring ass episode, I think. I do apologize for that, but this universe is absolutely massive. And one second my economy is working for me, the other one, it's not. So yeah, that's uh, it's kind of annoying. I say that I still have like, come on, man, I got, I got ten million coming in per per hour. Uh, what's the mission over here? Vigilant at the gate. Do I have? Of course, I don't. I actually do. Uh, where are those? I, I can do those. That those are quick, easy Auto missions. Engaged. Okay, so we think about this, and the other option here is um, it's safe Auto to say that this experiment is not working as intended, and we do need to start adding ships to these stations. I was hoping I wouldn't have to, but it's as absolutely feeling that. I don't really have a choice with some stations. Um, and it's it's the second that's like three jumps away. Even though this one is three jumps uh, away in the graphene factory. And it's doing um, rather okay. Uh, actually, it's just two jumps. One, two. So a a every time it's like one, two, three. Problem. Uh, you could say, well, what's the level of your manager? It's, uh, it's currently four. 
going up to five. Massive amount of subordinates. So I, I might just play around um, to see uh, if, if it would really help my economy. If I am just going to go back to how I used to run it. And that is uh, giving every station a good amount of ships. Enough Entering actually... Oh. What's that? It's another shipyard. Actually, another wharf. But I'm thinking the shipyard there in the, uh, in the distance. Also, missions are nice. But the best way to reduce... Uh, to actually increase your reputation is still criminal traffic, which is kind of stupid, uh, in my opinion. Because you're doing a mission, you are spending money on a faction, dropping a satellite, and then you do not get anything in return. But okay, it's fine. Um, it's probably some uh, some weight issue. I'm thinking that is... Yeah, that is, that is indeed it. That's where we need to go. So we at least know the location of it. Um, what to do, what to do, what to do, what to do. I think I cannot go around it. That means that these ships, everything is going to be distributed then. Unless this starts triggering, which uh, you can see it's not. It's It did take silicon, uh, did take some resources to start producing 22.8 uh, thousand silicon wafers. Hmm. Yeah, I need to think about that. I uh, definitely am not going to bore you by uh, going all over uh, the ships, reassigning them to uh, their new station. Uh, then we have the second problem that's going to be managers. Uh, is the manager level high enough to actually sell to my trading station? If it isn't, uh, then the ships... Are not going to be trading in that's going to be problematic i will end up doing a whole bunch of repeat orders yeah that's going to be very obnoxious uh why did i build like this again oh yeah because i was trying to be smart yeah don't be like me jump gate leads over there so i'm okay with that He wants me to build a defensive station, most likely. Fortifying, yes he does. Because they are being overrun with the Xenon. Okay, so now I did find these uh, these guys. Uh, we're going back. Uh, I'm assuming there is a gate towards towards two grand. Uh, because I would like to rather not go through the Xenon territories. Definitely not on a autopilot course uh, let's quickly do a long range scan see where if there is anything left in this system there is definitely something over there Okay, so I decided to prolong this uh, episode a tiny bit because I just felt bad about, once again, not showing anything. So what I've done um, in that prolonged time is I assigned a couple of my ships actually to the station, see how that will work, if they will start filling up. Uh, so far, the energy has been going uh, okay-ish. Uh, graphene, yeah, I, I think it it should work but uh, we will need a lot more ships than that and i was kind of hoping that we would not be needing that but oh well um can't change that unfortunately they will still only trade to the trading station uh, and that will mean that eventually we'll need to look, take a look at uh where can we sell the wares that also means that uh we kind of don't need to restrict this anymore. We'll just put this to 15. And... 
Well, we're not going to be selling the advanced schematics, union contracts, or military schematics, but the rest we are going to be selling. I also want to show you at least a few ships. So let's go over here. We have found the free family. Uh, we know the ASP. Uh, no, actually, we know the ASP, but this is the ASP Raider. Uh, has two more weapons, shields. Looks cool. We have the Balur. That exact that is weapons, shield, a lot of engines, uh, which I really like about them. Uh, the scout ship, the Jaguar, we have the wolf, the bombing ship. Uh, it seems like two launches, two hard points, one shield for a engines, uh, mineral ship, and a courier. Medium ships, we have the crocodile. And which is the carrier and it actually yeah i like that I, I like the design quite a bit uh the dragon raider which has of course the six slots two turrets one shield one engine uh alligator gas alligator mineral manticore which is the talk ship and the boa transporter unfortunately for us this is the free family and uh, so they are lacking a few ships uh, let's go with the Cheetah, which is a carrier ship. 16 small ships, quite like the design. They have a good amount of docking, uh, as well as a large turret. Yeah, definitely a large turret, which is always nice if you are going to be fighting. Uh, well, you don't want to fight anything with the ship close range, but because it's a carrier. Uh, we have, of course, the Rattlesnake Destroyer. Uh, we know it, we love it, at least I love it, can't wait to actually have him again, uh, we have the Viper, which is a frigate, which is quite cool, I like that, As it seems like one large frontal weapon, a good amount, I really like this design though, 17, almost 18 million, just for the uh, the chassis, we have the, uh, the Wyvern gas, the Wyvern mineral and the buffalo, let's go to the XL ship, we have the Garial, Gar Gar Garial, Garial Battleship. Cool, really cool. Um, don't see forward weapons, so it's a lot of turrets, massive engines, as well as uh, two docking places for medium. Oh, oh yeah, look at that. 108 million we have the raptor the carrier and the monitor and the elephant uh like i said these, these are most likely not all of them but i did want to show you something before dropping the episode and with that note uh this is where we will leave it i will try my best to get my hands on the uh, the ships from the patriarch I uh, did a buttload of exploring. I'm sure that it, there's a lot, a lot more. Next time we're probably going towards Terran. Ah, looking not, I'm not looking forward to the uh, uh, to, to to the Squidlies. Um, but oh my God, Morningstar has fallen as well. Yeah, I don't think we can actually stop the demise from the Argon Federation. But these guys are not looking too good either. Uh, but we'll have to see about that. Anyways, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.